All right, man, Detroit Lions go ahead and do what we thought they was going to do and they place uh, 2021 rookie Levi Anazurke on IR. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So it says Detroit Lions place defensive lineman Anna Levi Anazurke on injured reserve. Elevate two from practice squad. So check out the Trade Lines Top playlist <clears throat> for more videos like this. Okay. So um you know they end up putting Levon and Azorki on uh IR. Uh Dan Campbell said that they expected him to be ready for week one. That was a lie. Um that was a flat out lie, uh, I must say. Um but I just think it wasn't a lie to lie to the fans to not to be real about the situation. I think it was a lie to uh I think it was a lie kind of to kind of like fake the Eagles out, in my opinion. That's the kind of lie I think it was, kind of like to fake the Eagles out. Um, so the Eagles don't know kind of like what we was doing or our stuff of that nature. That's kind of how I took it. Okay. Um, but you know, I can just tell the way that he was talking that Anna Zorky was going on IR. Okay. The way that he was talking, you can tell, you could tell that he was going on IR. Right. Um, so to me, that wasn't no uh that wasn't no coincidence. that wasn't that wasn't no shocker to me. Now, what was a shocker, because we didn't hear much about Anna Zorky's back injury. Uh, leading up to that draft, what was a shocker in my opinion was that um, what was a shocker was he was uh, they knew about the back injury, they'd expect much from him year one. Now, in my opinion, like, dude was out for a whole year, bro. Think about that for a minute. He was out for a whole year, didn't play no football, you know what I'm saying, and uh. You know, now he had a back injury. All right. So that that's kind of that's kind of like truly concerning in my opinion. That's really concerning in my opinion. He was out for a whole year. He was out for a whole year of football from football. And then his back was injured. Now he probably hurt his back, you know, working out for football and all that type of stuff out and all that. Fine and dandy, bro. But now you're going to year two, and he's still injured. And the Lions got to do something about drafting these injury prone players, right? They won't take a chance on, uh, they won't take a chance on, um, they won't take a chance on somebody that's, you know, got some character issues, but they take a chance on somebody with other issues. You know, injury issues. That's my problem. That's my big problem. I keep drafting these broken up players, and then the players that you draft that's durable uh, coming into the National Football League, you know what I'm saying? You know, then they get broken up. So, I mean, it's, it's just it's mind-blowing in my opinion. It really is. It's mind blowing. It really is. It is mind blowing. It is mind blowing. So, uh, you know, it, it really is mind blowing in my opinion. But, you know, nonetheless, uh, they have no interior pass rush, and that's going to hurt them. That's what hurt them last year. With the Allen back still an issue, Detroit Lions play second year defensive lineman leave on Zorky on injured reserve Saturday. On Zorky is not practicing more than a month since the Lions first put him on, on, on pass August 1st and already has been ruled out of Sunday's season opener against the Philadelphia Eagles. He must miss at least the first four games of the season now until he uh, could be out until the Lions uh, week six bye. So man, he may not, he may be out the whole year, bro. He may just be a lost cause. And was a second round pick. 
in 2021. Last season, missed most of training camp with the back injury. Played 16 to 17 regular season game. He joined fellow defensive lineman second round pick this year from 2022, Josh Pascal on IR. Both were supposed to get him some push in the middle of that line. The reinvention, oh, that's something else. Um, Dave Burkett, he got a prediction. So um, I think they brought Justin Jefferson, Justin Jackson off the practice squad. I mean, uh, yep, Justin Jackson um, off the practice squad. Uh, and somebody else. Um, why did I say that before, dude? Um, so Anthony Pittman and Justin Jackson. Like I said before, I would chalk him up as a lost cause. I would chalk him up as just a bad pick at this point. That's what I, I would chalk him up as. Straight up and down. You know. Uh, you know. You know, you know, so I, I would just, I would talk him up as a loss. Um, but the disheartening thing was he was the second most important person. Um, he was the uh, second most important person. Um, He was the second most important person other than Jared Goff for this team to make the jump they need to jump. And, uh, and, 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 and a biggest weakness outside the quarterback position was the lack of interior pressure. And now, you know, you lose the second most important person, in my opinion, to helping them turn this thing around. And then you don't even feel your you, – you, then you don't feel – sorry. Sorry about that. Then you don't feel your, you know, your second important – your biggest need, that's interior line play and that pressure and that twitchy guy. Now you rush and you get Benito Jones. Nobody heard of Benito Jones and Isaiah Bugs. They put so much capital in the last 10 to 12 years on both sides of the scrimmage on the lines – and don't have shit to really show for. Frank Rad now injured. They might hold him out. Uh, Big High Tide was a big free agent signing a few years ago. They might hold him out. You know, you just sitting here looking like, bro, it's gotta be a curse. It's gotta be a curse. It's gotta be a curse. I'm just being honest. It's gotta be a curse on this on this on this team. You know, they fill in needs. You know, they fill in voids and they still got vo more voids. And they still got more voids than when they when they started. And this franchise don't have a luxury. They don't have the luxury to take the chances on injury prone players. They just don't have the luxury. They don't, but it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Check out the trade Lines Talk playlist for more videos like this. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Peace.